welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do like a get ready with me makeup. I've just done my hair, I've pulled the curls out, I've got my top on but I don't have any trousers on yet, just got my shorts. Because makeup is messy and what I didn't want to do was put all my makeup on and then get makeup all over my jeans. Basically today I'm only going to town with my mum, we're just going to do a little bit of shopping, so I might pick up some new makeup uh, to feature in a video, but we shall see. So, let's get ready. The first thing I'm going to go in with is my primer, this is the Prep and Perfect Balming Priming Gel by the PS Collection at Primark, this was £3, can you believe it? It's actually a really nice sort of primer, I just... It leaves me that tacky sort of finish, and that's what I literally love. So, you know, we're going quite glamorous today. I always find, like, if I go to town, like, I feel like I, I would like to make an effort. Am I the only one? <laughs> Cause, yeah, I do like to make an effort if I'm going to town. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's the only one I know. But you just hate that when you're like, I don't want to see anyone today. I just don't want to see anyone today. And you see absolutely every single person that you have on Facebook, literally. So I'm going to go in with the Love Island X Revolution Brow Gel and I'm going to do what I usually do now because I'm literally obsessed with this. So I'm just using the tip, like literally the end of the brush and I'm brushing my brows up, spiking them up. And I just find this just gives me that really nice fluffy brow I just I'm obsessed with this look and I literally love it so so much like so so much so I'm just brushing them up and using the tip it means that like you can just really push the brow up really spike them up And honestly, this is like, I'm obsessed with this to the point where I'm running out of brow gel. It's gone like a little bit brown because obviously brow products and stuff. But yeah, I'm running out. Because I'm doing this every day, I'm running out, <laughs> which is not good. It's not good at all. So while that is drying, I will... dry and just let that dry a minute i will be back once this is dry because this takes forever the next part is i'm going to fill my brows in with the elf instant lift brow by uh, in the shade Torp. so what i do is i'm just gonna do a line underneath and that gives it that really nice sharp edge And by doing this, oh my god, like lately, it looks like I've had my brows done. Because honestly, I'm loving this look at the moment. I'm just obsessed. And by drawing in the line, it kind of gives you an idea of where to start your hairs kind of thing. So you know where to angle the pencil. And then just use that line as like your barrier. Because it doesn't matter with the, with this bit, because obviously, you know, you're you're creating hairs, so you want some a little bit longer than others. But honestly, I'm literally obsessed with doing this now. Like this has changed my whole makeup routine because now I have to I have to do my brows first. I normally do my brows first anyway, but I'm like it's like a have to now because of the brow gel and everything. It's just something that I have to do, but I'm loving it, so I'm not bothered. <laughs> not bothered in the slightest. As you can see, like I went a little bit extra on that one, but you can literally just wipe it off. Then I'm gonna go back in with the brow gel because it will just even that all out. Make sure these little end ones stick down because they've been a bit of a pain. And honestly, I'm just obsessed. Like if any of you have tried this since like 
you've watched my last video of me doing it, like, let me know if you actually really liked it because I'm literally obsessed. So as normal, I'm going in with my Beauty Bay eye base and I'm going to clear up this brow. But I'm gonna also put it on my lid so then we can do our eyeshadow. I definitely, when I like, I'm going, doing like a sort of out, out sort of look, um, or even just like a soft sort of glam look, I do tend to go in with my eyes first, just because I can tidy it all up. I can make it look really nice without having to worry about my base being disruptive. Disrupt. Disrupted? Disrupted. It just seems alright. Disturbed. Let's just say that. Disturbed. You know when you say something and it doesn't sound right and you're like, mm, that doesn't sound right. And then all day you're like, no, I was saying it right. It's like, you know when you spell something and you look at it and you think that's wrong, but it's not, it's right. And you're like, but it doesn't look right. Isn't it weird how our brain plays little tricks on us sometimes. Just a little tester, just to make sure that you're awake and, you know. <laughs> was that just me? That's just me. So, the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go in with, I did tell you I was gonna feature, feature this in another video because I did wanna test more eyeshadows. So this eyeshadow palette is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Twilight Shadow palette this was six pounds this has 35 shades and it is from b m it was stunning if you haven't watched my last video we did um we went in with all the purples um honestly such a nice palette obsessed and the fact that we're going in with more just shows i like it that's just, just my personal preference i guess so dun 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 Let's go in with a little fluffy brush. Like this. And I'm gonna go in with this sort of like light sort of brownie shade here. And I'm gonna take that on the outer. Oh, it's quite dark actually. And then blend that through the crease, just like so, and then to the middle. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Just deepen that up slightly. Yeah, that's nice. I am getting a little bit of fallout, just, but it's not too bad. I'm not, you know, this is why I do my eyes first, you know, I allow fallout because I'm going in with my eyes first and it doesn't affect any of my other makeup, so it doesn't affect my base or anything like that, so just doing that just definitely helps because I can, I can go in and clean up and all that. So, I'm then going to take this sort of warmer brown and just add that to that edge just like so so that's like really warmed that sort of eye up which is so nice and then I'm going to take just a little bit on a little brush and this warm sort of brownie colour and like I said, I'm only taking like a tiny, tiny bit just to warm that area up. I might use it to blend that out. Blend the edges out a little bit. Yeah, that's stunning. Honestly, love, 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 love. And then I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and go in with this sort of like whitey colour and just blend out them edges of that eye. 
just so they're not looking like too sharp. Just like there. I always blend that bit because I'm going to tidy that up anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my eye base again. Very, very lightly. So I'm going to go in very, very lightly and just blend that. So that's beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm just cutting the crease, but I'm just really blending that out. So it's not like too in your face kind of thing, can you see? It's just really subtly blended out. But we've kept that shape and all of that. So that's just really, really nice. Now, sh 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 shimmer. What shimmer shall we do today? I can't find my little shimmer brush. So I'm going to go in with a goldy sort of colour and just pop that in that inner corner and blend that out just a little bit. Can you see? Oh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to go in again just to deepen that colour up. Wow, that's stunning. And then I'm going to go in with the, a brownie sort of shimmer. And then just blend that out to the rest of the eye. Where I've cut my crease. Wow, that's stunning. That is so pretty. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this is how it's looking. It is so pretty. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with um, that sort of really warm sort of brown and just blend that over that shimmer a little bit. Can you see? So it's just, it's not dulling it down as such, but it's just deepening that sort of look. Which is what I like, 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 like. So, gonna go do the other eye and then I'll be back. So lashes are on. I went with a corner lash. I found these lashes just a little bit too curly for me. Um, I just couldn't get over how curly they were. And uh, yeah, I just, mm, it's just not a lash for me, I don't think. I mean, they're quite nice though. They're nice and subtle. But yeah, they were very curly. They were like curling into my, my crease kind of thing. And I just, I don't know. I just, no, and this wasn't really for me, I think. It's not, um, no, not a fan. Not a fan at all. So we're going to go in with our foundation. Now our lashes are done. So our eyes are all done, which is, this is what they look like. I'm literally obsessed. They are so pretty. And these corner lashes are so easy to put on because they're just in the corner and it just really wisps that out. So, you know, it's not too dramatic. Do you know what I mean? So... I'm going to go in with foundation. So this is the Revolution IRL Filled Foundation. I have it in the shade F5. I am going to just blob that on my face. As you can see, it's very, very thick. <laughs> very. It is a very thick foundation. No, you're probably guessing. No, this is not the shade for me. It does look too dark, but... I do actually prefer my foundation to be a little bit darker just because I, I think when I go for like my actual like skin shade I just find I just look really ghostly does anyone else get that do you just feel really ghostly like don't like it I'm not a fan I'm not a fan of the ghost look I mean if you like that look then all for you but I just don't like it on me so I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Just 
and it just blends out so nice and this is full coverage as you can see on my nose like it just gets rid of all my freckles and yet yes I know people are like into freckles now am I gonna add them back in no um yeah I do like my freckles don't get me wrong because it reminds me like my freckles come out in the sun so I just get that like nice sun-kissed skin and that's what I call it <laughs> but for this makeup I just also I, I don't know how to do freckles like I don't know how to do it like other people do it people do it so so well and I'm too scared to buy that like spray thing where you spray your face because I've seen it go horribly wrong in videos and I'm like yeah nah I'll just leave it I'll just leave it because I'm not I'm not gonna do that no way no way but yeah that is stunning that is all blending nicely as you can see we have gone a little bit matte now it is quite a matte foundation but I like a matte look so I'm all for it all for it next I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna go in my contour first so this is the contour stick by L'Oreal it scares the life out of me not gonna lie it does it does scare the life out of me so I go in very very gentle because I'm petrified of it so what I do is I put it on my brush <laughs> because it does scare me and then I pat it in my skin just like that. Now I'm not sure what shade this is. Oh, it's in the shade Toffee Caramel. So, you know, it's quite warm. But I'm hoping today that I can get the Primark one because I've been dying to try it. Um, yeah, I've been super excited to try it. But this just, it just scares me. So this is why I would rather put it on my brush and then put it on my face because I'm literally petrified of it. <laughs> but I'm just tapping that in. As you can see, it does blend out really nicely. Is it too orange? Is always the camera just playing tricks on me? Because I do think the camera is making this look darker than it is I'm not gonna lie to you guys but I will show you this look in natural lighting because I do think sometimes cameras like the lights on the cameras it just picks up more pigment than it's supposed to but you know we will see <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this little fluffy end and I'm just gonna Take that down my nose because I'm just gonna blend it out at the same time so I'm not got these like harsh sort of lines and just really contour that nose. It's definitely warmed up my face though, and I'm all for that. Love a warm face. Can't go wrong with a warm face. But in the excess, I'm just gonna on like that and then I'm going to just take my beauty blender and just blend that in because my beauty blender has got a little bit of the foundation left on it it will just help blend that all in together yes beautiful and um, then I'm going to go in with the elf putty blush in the shade Bora Bora beautiful absolutely beautiful when I mean it's beautiful, I mean it's beautiful. It is stunning. Yes, yes, yes. How pretty is that? Got that little bright pink blush. I'm really like, into my pinks. I went for I went like ugh, I preferred having peachy blushes because I found that they looked nicer with bronzer and stuff because they just blended in really nice. But the pinks, oh, the pinks have a different story. They are so, so cute. Yes. Full, full marks for Elf's Putty Brush. Elf's Putty Brush are amazing. If you haven't tried them yet, what are you doing? 
what are you doing because yeah uh, I'm just gonna go in with the revolution X um, concealer uh, this is in the shade CX 0 0.2 I'm just gonna I'm not going in too heavy with the concealer just because I do think sometimes I go in too heavy and I'm just like oh that wasn't what I wanted it to go like but you know do you know what I mean is it just me but yeah I'm just gonna blend that all in blend 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 put that right under my eye As you can see, that has just brightened up that eye area and it just looks stunning. It will take a little bit of the pigment away from your blush. Don't get me wrong, because I, I like to conceal at the end of the, my base makeup because I find if like if it if my contour goes wrong or my blush goes in the wrong place, I blend it like and it goes in the wrong place then I can fix it with concealer. That's that's the goal, you know? That's, that's the sort of goal I'm going with. But yeah, that is how I would do it. So I'm just gonna decrease my eyes and then quickly go in with my L'Oreal Translucent powder and a mitt. Can you see that? Oh my god. See, everyone was saying about the next one. I'm not mm -hmm, sorry, but this one is the one. This is by Revolution. This is the one. I'm obsessed with this one. I'm just gonna. Rub that in. How bright my under eyes? <coughs> Obsessed. Obsessed. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the rest of my face with my Revolution Peach powder. Oh my god. Oh, oh. this is why I didn't get dressed because it's the powder. It's the powder that does it, you know, it's the powder that gets the messiest part because it's just, oh, it's just crazy. This powder is just crazy. So I'm just going to pat that all into my face. Set this, baby. Let's set it. I do powder my whole face because I don't like putting bronzer on, like, I don't want to say a wet skin, but a not set skin because I just find that it just collects and then I can't blend it out. You know what I mean? Am I the only one? Just powder underneath. Just set that all in place. Yes. My legs have gone dead. <laughs> Even sat here too long, but we are almost done, guys. And I have powder all over me. Okay, the next thing is bronzer. So I am going to go in with my Revolution bronzer. This is just the Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Cool. Cool. And I'm just going to bronze in them areas that I put that. Because the problem with powder is it, it does take a lot of your pigment away from your products. So by adding more, more is not like less is more, but more is more. Do you know what I mean? You can't do it without putting like more on. Like you wouldn't go out and be like, yeah, I'm quite happy with this look. Really, you haven't put any extra ones on. Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, I wouldn't be happy with it. <laughs> that is that. So I'm just going to take 
my makeup brushes. I'm sorry, my legs have gone to sleep. And I'm just gonna pop that brown that I had. Oh, there's a hair on my lash. On that brush. And just pop that underneath my eyes. And then I'll take this one. Taking that out a little bit. And then with my fluffy brush, I'm going to just blend that out. Just like that. So it's just giving that a little bit more colour underneath the eyes. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Um, and then I'm just going to take this sort of like goldy colour and pop. On my inner corners, like a white sort of goldy color. Yes, beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. The next thing is a blush. So yes, we're going to put on more blush because the blush has kind of disappeared. And you need blush, baby. You need blush. Because blush is everything. Especially these days. Girls don't go out without wearing blush now. Blush is back, baby. Yeah. My skin is looking so good. Like, it just looks really healthy. Even though I've got like loads of makeup on, it looks look really healthy. Do you know what I mean? Last but not least is highlighter. Oh, I forgot to tell you the blush. This is the Revolution um, Blush Reader in the shade Pink Lady. And this is the Revolution Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter in the shade So Blaze. Does this not give you, I say it every time, I know, I do say it every time. Does this not give you Charlotte Tilbury vibes? Because it gives me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. I think it's a dupe. I do think it's cheap. I don't have the Sarah Tilby one to compare, but I think it's the packaging and everything. It just, just gives me that vibe, you know? Oh, but how stunning is it? It's so pretty. With highlighter, it's less more. Absolutely bloody not. Take a little bit of my brush, put it down my nose, mm -mm. and on my nose. My nails actually look red on camera. They're not red. My nails aren't red. They look red on camera, don't they? They're not red. So, I'm actually, sadly, I'm not going to be putting on any lip product, just because I, do you know what, I actually prefer my lips to be quite natural, I'm not going to lie to you, I am a sucker for a natural lip, um, I, you know, I do, I do sometimes put lip stuff on, like, I'm not gonna lie, I do, I do, I do for you guys, but let's just put some lip oil on. This is just the Revolution, the X Love Island and Revolution lip oil. And I just think, I do have foundation on my lip. I'm not really sure it's looking at her. Because now my lips look back in the 90s. Let me sort that out. <laughs> Nobody wants foundation lip anymore. Actually, the oil would help me get it off. Hack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go, that's better. 
yeah. This smells amazing as well. It is just a lip oil though, so this gives you that nice hydrated lip. So let me just turn down my light. Hold on. This is the look in natural lighting. This is honestly stunning. The lashes, the lashes are so, so stunning. I'm literally obsessed. The eyes, the eyes are just amazing. The highlight, everything. When you get do a get ready with me, I think you just use your products that you absolutely love. But I did feature, obviously, the um, b and eyeshadow palette because I did want to test more shades with you. So we featured that. Um, if you like this video though, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching. I love you all. Please, please comment though. Like, come on, we need to interact, girls. Girls, boys, whoever you are, let's interact, baby. Love you all.